everyone and welcome back to Art by Brooke. So first of all, I wanted to thank everyone for all of the support I got for my 100th video. I was so excited to put that out there and it just made my day that everyone was commenting and talking about it and kind of sharing in my own excitement as well. So in this video, I am actually going to be using some of the leftover paint from my 100th video. And I am going to be trying a technique that I have been wanting to do basically since I started paint pouring and I don't know why I've put it off for so long. Today I am doing a pour through a strainer. So I actually have a video coming out in a little while that explains where I got this and a couple of other cool goodies. So stay tuned for that. But let's just go ahead and get started in this. I'm trying to pour straight in the middle because the holes are actually on the bottom and the sides and I want it to be kind of an even pour. Let's see if I can just get white to cover the bottom and then oh, that looks really cool and then I will start pouring some colors. So this has little feet so the color should come out the side um, and maybe go down into the bottom a little bit too but we will find out how well this works. I actually have a couple of different colanders to try, different strainers and colanders. So it is almost pouring off the side at this point, so I'm just trying to get all of the rest of these colors in and hopefully get enough paint out so that it'll cover the whole thing. I'm a little torn on whether I should just pick it up and let it drip or pick it up and remove it. I think I will let it drip a little bit, but I'm going to go grab something so that I can catch the excess drips when I pull it off grabbed a canvas that still has its plastic wrap on it because the drips might actually dry really nice for necklaces. Okay, cool. Wow, this is really pretty. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. Let's see, maybe not. Okay, I need to stop messing with it. I like where it is now. This looks super pretty. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes and then we will come back and take a little bit of a close up. So it's been a couple minutes, but I also wanted to hit it with my torch a little bit because I see some air bubbles. Okay, I am going to go ahead and do a close up now. So I'm definitely going to have to do this technique some more because this was really fun. The lines and colors just layered over each other so beautifully. It's also been a while since I've done just blue and purple and I missed that too. This is so cool. It almost looks like the white ripples on water especially because you can see through it to the blue underneath. And we got some cells over there and some little tiny ones and there's no silicone in this. This is just uh, paint, Floetrol and water. All right, so that looks so pretty. I'm really excited about this. I will have the dried painting up on my Instagram account whenever this dries. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications if you haven't already. That way you'll see it every time I post a new video. 
And of course, you already know this, but I love seeing your comments. So if you have any ideas or things you would do differently next time, please let me know. Give this video a thumbs up, and I would actually really love it if you shared it with your friends. I hope you have a great day.